so here we go. I am in Wellington and it's true. Oh, I have been putting off this video if I'm honest and I'm holding this up with my arm because I just decided I'm just going to do this. This is not going to be edited. This is going to be raw, uncut video of telling you that we're moving back to the U.S. And the bottom line is that we're moving back for family. Um, that's the bottom line. Um, very, very hard decision. Um, sorry, the lighting isn't great. Let me just, I don't know. Which is best? I don't know. You're like, you're like, oh, stop there, stop there. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I'm probably not even going to have this edited, so <laughs> have fun watching this video. So, yeah, we're moving back. Um, I've really struggled to talk about it. Like, even my friends, I've been texting them because I can't even talk about it because you guys know that New Zealand has my heart. Like, everything that I have said is totally true. It's just you get to a point where you've been here almost like for almost eight to ten years that you're just like, oh, you know, my older two kids are living there and. You know, nobody's getting younger and cousins are getting older and you just have to make this decision like the whole time is going to pass and I'm going to miss it and um, nobody's dying, no major health issues. It's just we think it's time to, um, you know, spend some time with family. Like you can be in the most beautiful place in the world, but if you don't have the people that um, you love around you, it's not as great. And, it, and I, that's a learning for me and that's some insight for anybody that's moving here because, yeah, like when you move here, like my mind, I was moving permanently, um, but then if people in your family don't visit you or they never would consider moving here, then that kind of changes your perspective. And I'm not mad about that or have no bitterness about that because I've moved far away and I chose to do that. It's nothing on them. But like I've noticed that people that have emigrated here and stayed here and have been successful staying here is because they uh, have family here. Like at least parents or some brother siblings have moved here and like you just can't keep doing holidays without family. Anyway, it's not forever. We are planning on going back for a time and then moving back here. I'm um, actually looking at properties and yeah, so we consider New Zealand our home. A very wise person said to me recently, um, who has kind of gone through the same struggle, um, has said permanent residency doesn't mean you live there permanently. It just means you have the option to come and go as you want. And that's what we're doing. And so we're thinking five, six years and then look at coming back. So um, it's, you know, when two of your kids are already there and they will be for the next couple of years and your parents and all of the extended family that it's just feeling like we go back every year like we're committed to going back every year but like just having two days with them is like hardly enough you know <laughs> but some of the time like with my parents I stay I spend like a month with them and it's real quality time and probably better than I would have you know living close but I guess we'll find that out so this channel isn't going anywhere. It doesn't change everything that I know. I am still helping people move to New Zealand. As you know, I've teamed up with Working In and we are going to be growing um, and doing, hopefully looks like seminars across major cities in the US because they do that in Europe. So you may get to see me in person. I would love to do more in-person events. I will still be meeting people. I will be able to meet you on your, <laughs> um, your time zone <laughs> a lot better. In same day so that's nice so there are some perks um, and I think the content will be good like what is it gonna be like reintegrating into the US what's it going to be like with reverse culture shock and uh, you know me I'll be honest about everything that I'm feeling and going through but I am excited about Amazon I gotta be honest I'm excited about Amazon um, so yeah and uh, different opportunities like my digital marketing business and my Amazon business um, I think will be do better over there um so yeah but yeah so things are going really good um now is the chance to meet with me personally and um content videos are still going to come out and maybe different things so i'm you know this is what's great about a personal brand is it grows with you and changes with you and i think it keeps the content interesting and keeps you know because no person fits in one little slot like i'm not literally just talking about life in new zealand for the rest of my life like you know there's going to be a lot so 
and I've seen a lot of crossover. So a lot of you have become marketing clients that have found me on this channel because you own a business and like, you know, because I'm the same person, but I have lots of different skills. So anyway, I'd love to, um, any questions that you have, things that you would like me to comment on or do videos on back in the US, I'm happy to do that. Like all of that is good. Sorry this has taken me so long to send to you. I've just been really, um, yeah, struggling to find the words. And so today I'm in Wellington and it's just a stunning day and I'm like, screw it. Like I'm just gonna do a very raw video on what's happening, it doesn't need to be long. And um, if you're in my email community or whatever, you already know because um, I have sent that out. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Um, but I have, now this is my fourth move internationally. I am now an official professional. And in my email community, I sent out some tips on selling stuff and moving. And if you want that, I'm happy to send that to you. Um, but. <laughs> I have got this figured out. I'm telling you, my process to sell everything and move everything this fourth time has been amazing, like down to a science. So I'm um, happy to help with all that. So just continuing to grow, continuing to learn, continuing to put myself in uncomfortable situations and new situations. And yeah, we don't have anything figured out. We don't have any jobs, schools figured out. We have no, we have sold all our stuff. We own nothing. We have no cars. We don't know where we're living. I mean, we're gonna be close to family. Like I'm not moving across the world and then not being close to family. Like, so I'm um, back to Wisconsin, I go. So anyway, that's the update. I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions.